Natural events and human activities contribute to an increase in average temperatures around the world. Increases in greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide is a main cause. Our planet and our region are warming. This leads to a change in climate. Do you know how climate change affects the Caribbean? The Caribbean is a minute contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions, but will be among the most severely impacted. We're already experiencing its impacts. More frequent extreme weather events, such as a 2013 rain event in the Eastern Caribbean. The extreme droughts being experienced across the region, with severe consequences in places like Jamaica. The 2005 flooding in Guyana and Belize in 2010. And further climate change is inevitable in the coming decades. Inaction is very costly. An economic analysis focus on just three areas, increased hurricane damages, loss of tourism revenue and infrastructure damages could cost the region US $10.7 billion by 2025. That's more than the combined GDP of OECS member states. These risks can be managed by taking no regrets actions, development actions we must take in any event. So we must build our infrastructure to withstand more intense weather events, select crops that can thrive in extreme conditions and climate influence opportunistic pests, and transform our planning frameworks to improve our resilience. Climate change is a fossil energy related problem. Fossil fuel consumption costs the region US $37 billion of its foreign exchange earnings and further reduces the potential for economic growth. Employing renewable forms of energy will allow us to tackle two big problems, climate change and economic competitiveness. Climate change projects have been underway in the Caribbean for nearly two decades. The early projects created a solid foundation for the work we do today. They boosted climate data collection and our ability to predict the region's climate in the future, conducted vulnerability analyses, and strengthened our efforts to include climate change into the national development process. Less than a decade after its first climate change project, the region established the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, widely known as the Five Cs, which executed the world's first pilot adaptation program in three countries across five areas. The climate proofing of the Martian Community Center in St. Lucia, the construction of a rainwater harvesting and wastewater recycling facility at Coconut Bay Beach Resort and Spa in Viewfort, St. Lucia, the photovoltaic solar-powered saltwater reverse osmosis plant in Beckway, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We've also done a range of projects in our host country, Belize. We have been demonstrating the viability of producing fuel and food from naturally harvested cocoon palm nuts and documenting its economic and social benefits under the Cahoon Palm Nut Renewable Energy Project in Flowers Bank. We have also installed a solar photovoltaic farm to provide some of the energy needed to power saltwater reverse osmosis system on Kikaka that provides the island with clean drinking water. We're also improving climate risk planning, management and action by building an integrated network of coral reef early warning system stations across the region. Belize houses two of these stations, one at Southwater Key and another at Calabash Keys. Our work is grounded in a firm regional commitment, policy and strategy. Our three foundation documents, the Liliandal Declaration, the Regional Framework for Achieving Development Resilient to Climate Change, and its accompanying implementation plan are the basis for climate action in the Caribbean. Guided by these actions, we've successfully executed a suite of regional climate change related programs worth approximately 50 million US dollars. These investments have been critical in advancing our resilience building efforts and transforming attitudes. Our work is sustained through meaningful relationships with complementary regional and international organizations and development partners. We're a partnership success story, and we're prepared to build on our successes. To learn more about climate change, visit caribbeanclimate.bz and explore the Clearinghouse, the most extensive repository of Caribbean-specific information on climate change.